Welcome to the second round of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be an entertaining game between the LSU Tigers and the Providence Friars. Number four is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. He's very offensive-minded, and why not? He can put up big numbers when it's needed, and most nights he carries their offensive load. The Friars will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Friars are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, if you win the glass, baby, and you own the boards, you'll win the game. And lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams looking to get things going here. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The Tigers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits his first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. And a momentary look from three-point land. He does the sweet fake shot. He shoots from right of the circle. Oh, yes. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Up and inside. The frustration right there. The power forward takes the feed. Marries it home. Another turnover. They're not talking out the turnovers either. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's an 8-0 run. Working it around the perimeter, in the paint, looking for contact. Number four is feeling great right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Providence are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Fires away, way off target. Number four, take pass. Trying to pack it inside. Gets the ball and out faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Jumps into the defender. They still don't score. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That 
is a dagger in the heart. That shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Rod. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. out of bounds this crowd is unbelievable oh they're emotional they're back they're jammed you can't find an fbc takes care of the ball until the offense resets inside and work it into a double team on a post look at that try there that's more like my stuff wow little barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Inside. Turns it over. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He may be in trouble here. The small forward with the ball on the outside. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the free throw. First one, good. at the charity strike. He'll regroup the offense. The defense traps him into a five-second call. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. They move it into the front court. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Fed the low block. Great anticipation defensively. They work it around the arc. Number 14 gets the pass. A high screen. Gets it to fall. Number 55 gets the ball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. The ball goes out of play. Pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, bad angle. 
Number two is called for the defensive foul. First personal foul. With the free one. Gets his first. Free throw is good. He makes it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. On the outside. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He nails the shot. off the pass. Look at that spacing. Picks off the lazy pass. For two. Up and in. <laughs> Up and inside. I think he's doing a nice job defensively. Fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Gave it up. With a bucket, LSU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Oh, what a strip, Red. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. He puts it up, makes it. Gives it up. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Easy one. That's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking for a good shot. The Tigers have been very successful of late. They're becoming regulars at the NCAA tournament. It's the story of evolution. Evolution of a college basketball program. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Pull-up jumper from way out. He hits it. Stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Up, easy one. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up, takes away the pass. Defense taking away any open looks. Working it around the perimeter. 
Tries for two. And he missed. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, and a really good, a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two, and in and out. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step on the low block. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Yeah, he's on fire. to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. Steals the pass. Put a show on that. Great draw handling skill. Working around the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills it from downtown. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Buried it. in front to take it away. Cross court. And the slam. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Gave it up. In the paint. Leans in. Number 55 with a finger roll. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion. Here they are in transition. That easy one. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up. Gets it back out. He pump fakes. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There he is. Strips the ball loose. He quickly brings it up the floor. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. Number 32 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. 2005-2006 marked quite an amazing year for both the men's and the women's basketball teams at LSU. Both teams went to the Final Four, which is really amazing for the school. I think it says a lot about the athletic department. Having both programs go that deep in the postseason is remarkable. That doesn't happen that often. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And off the mark. Oh, he 
he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Makes his first. He misses his second shot. Accepts it. He attempts the trifecta. He drains the bucket. Wow, let's check out the replay. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 14 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defense. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you what, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He can't get the hoop to fall. LSU have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. He wants a three. He shows the sweet touch. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots. He buries it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. He pushes it hard up the court. From right at the circle, off the rim and no good. Pickles a twine.
two. Perfectly executed. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At halftime, the Friars are up by 12. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. All right, Dick. Let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Providence did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. There's a slam. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Number two grabs it. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from outside. He nails the bucket. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Side. Number 11 in the paint. It's good. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. On the outside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. To the line. Gets it. They work the perimeter in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. That one there should have been a five goal, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. They work it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Picked out of the air. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. There they come with a double team to stop it. Makes the shot. He 
shoots from downtown. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Number 14 with the steal. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped him. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. <laughs> that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. LSU is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Puts it up looking for contact. Basket falls despite the... from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number third, and a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. To the charity strike. Count it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle, goes. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. And the ball goes out of play. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up even. Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Picks off the lazy pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Number 32 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. And we'll go to the free throw line. Misses his first shot. Makes the second. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Great block shot, gave it up. <laughs> Trying to come up with a steal, and they do.
comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen away. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. As the fans continue to chance. Well, ultimately the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it too. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle day. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the outside. High post flashes for the opportunity. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Takes it off him. And now getting back the other way. On the break. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. And their football team is great, but their basketball program is starting to turn some heads. Throws it up from downtown. He drains it. He launches the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. That's worth another look. Inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. Top of the circle, that's good. The Tigers are ahead by five. up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Knocks it down. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. Picks off the pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the benches. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. All right, thanks, Aaron. Draws the personal. Number 33 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. He goes to the free throw line. Got him a nylon NBN. Let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He looks for the bomb. He gets that one to fall. Now, that angle. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. The center with the ball. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the key. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. They work it around the perimeter. High post screen. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. The shooting guard gets the ball. Steals the pass. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. The shooting guard gets the pass. With the fake. Nice fake. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Dribble gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good fake. There's the pick. The shooting guard receives the ball for two. Perfectly executed.
The shooting guard handles the pass. That's good. Gave it up. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I took a chance, and he lost, baby. The shooting guard takes the feed. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Picked off. He runs the fast break. Fake. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. The small forward takes the pass. He shows the sweet touch. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Steal. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the inside. And now they'll bring it up. He throws it up from downtown. He gets the shot to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. Dumps it in. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice shot fake. Number 14 is charged with the foul. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. For the bucket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Take it away. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. With a tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Fakes it. There they come with a double team to stop it. Up fake. Takes away the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the baseline. He gets it to go. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. The small forward handles the feed. He hits it. The 
players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Shot clock is dead. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. The fake. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Launches it. Sinks the shot. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. He puts it up at the horn. Misses the bomb. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Providence couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.